Hey, yep, we bringing this Yuta back. It's a it's an underrated deck in my personal opinion. And the first hand is looking a little sketchy. I understand. I understand. But we probably could have kept it because um it's Zoro and we don't even have to reduce power to start removing cards off the board. We had two Zeps in our hand, but I understand. Lack of counter power. Uh, we did have the Ayn to help us quickly ramp. So things things would have been okay. Yeah. On curve, play the Zeph, pop something. But anyway, we still got lovely counter power in our hand. We have a Guilt of Sorrow to draw. So Guilt of Sorrow can easily run over these little characters. And we can just, ooh, look at that. So we did update this deck. So the deck is not like per se. Um, it's not like, how should I say this? It doesn't have the E, B, ah, oh, God damn. I, I still messed it up. I had all that time. OPO7 cards. It doesn't have OPO7 cards, but we did update it. We decided to not use, um, we decided to not use, uh, what's that dude's name? Ah, drawing a blank on his name. Marco. There we go. Decided not to use five drop Marco. Instead, we went with Vista because he's a, you know, two dawn cheaper and essentially giving us the same play, still giving us a body on the board. It is 3k power. That is not a bad amount of power. So essentially we can, we, without 3k power, we can just put two dawn and swing. So that's, that's what our thought process was. Now we got to turn this board around. We definitely were stuck taking one. So Vista is easily hitting that board and KOing the buggy because buggies are, well, no, we're, we're safe from buggy in this situation. Yeah, buggy's not that type of threat. I mean, he's active. So yeah, still can use Vista on him. Or if we feel like that Don Nami is doing too much, same thing. But yeah, let that Vista hit the board. Just got to pick one. It is either buggy because he's 3000 or Don Nami to stop him from having his little engine. So we go, we go with the buggy. Makes sense. 3000 power. I don't know if I was saying something earlier. I think I was. But anyway, that Guilty Sir is going to help us draw and really uh, keep us in the game. And I guess um, Douglas Bullet is that is not necessary. And we get a Zeph anyway. Okay, cool. So that still means we play that. Get a Surge. So yeah, we're, gonna, we're about to get lots of two. Ooh, look at this. We can literally play both. We can play both and just ruin this person's board. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, that's a complete board wipe, essentially. I guess uh, debating. I mean, you could use the three drop Vista. Get rid of the Nami because Nami's still active, right? You'll have your rest at dawn, and then if you like, swing with the Guilt of Sorrow to draw two cards. You don't actually have to play your 7-drop now. The reason why I say that is because um, he, he potentially might have would have let the attack go through. But now you put yourself in a position where um, you're going to give him cards. Ooh, we drew some 2Ks. Wonderful. Wonderful. Get rid of the iron because we don't really need it anymore. Get developed Shariah. Okay, cool. Yeah, we did get rid of three Dawn that play. That's true. We got rid of three Dawn. So it looks like essentially we're just trying to save the Vista. Ooh, that's a lot to counter out of. But if we do, it looks like he can't stop us. We just won't have the Vista to help us take something off the board. Understandable though, okay. that guilt of sorrow, that's a whole engine. Uh yeah, it looks like we have to. We, I mean we can we we can get it back. We can get it. Oh, he decided to let it go. Okay. Don up. We swing in 7k to something okay 
So we're going to go for the Zoro definitely. Put two down on that Vista. Yeah, there you go. Swing a Vista. That's another card out your hand. Oh, you decided not to. I wouldn't mind swinging for six, but I think uh, we're trying to put ourselves in a position to get game next turn. I think that's what's happening. Use, remove it from Vista. Draw two cards. Oh, another Guild of Sorrow. We go, okay, let's see if we can get some more. Oh, we got a blocker. Okay, cool. I was like, maybe we can get some counter power, but no, we got a blocker. That's way better than counter power. Enough Dawn to get another swing, a 6K swing, I should say. And then we can just uh, play the Shirai and get rid of Luffy. All right, I can't see. Um, I can't see the Zoro player turning this around. This board is too healthy. We just, we have what we need to just hurt his board so much. Shenanigans. You gotta, yeah, you gotta keep in mind Diablo Jambes and a random Luffy. Okay, we decided to keep that. I guess we feel confident. You know, I did look away from the screen for a second. And now that I'm looking at the screen, it's like, wait a minute. There's a Shariah missing. It's like, what the heck? All right, everything should just be swinging for game. 9k another oh a 10k and let's draw two cards and we get another blocker that's wonderful gg dag that hand is nasty looking and he did have a diablo jambe he could have uh tried to split the damage kind of maybe i don't know all right, like I say, you always want to go second with this Yuta deck because of our Douglas Bullet Curve. That first game, I feel like we yo, I feel like we just had everything we needed. Ugh, it, was, it was just so wonderful and disgusting at the same time. <laughs> like, as like on the receiving end of so, of something like that, your board just getting popped with a bunch of on play effects. Like, come on, of course that has to hurt. And we get the Ein, so we get to ramp a whole turn next play easy oh just going for damage here i get it we could counter out with two two k's it's perfect number yeah that last turn um I, well, I was nervous when um they used that not last turn last game i was nervous when they uh chucked that guilt to Cyril, the the one that gets two cards back from the trash i was like wait, wait why yeah, I don't think we need to search for Luffy. If anything, we could just get it back. We could literally just get it back. It's like, if you focus on at least getting, uh, quickly get into your 10 Don state, um, losing Don isn't that scary anymore. Just quickly get to your 10 Don state. Um... I understand the debate. I get it. Because you develop another body and going up against a Zoro player, a lot of his characters are weak. So we're at our 8 down state. But either we just get two cards back from trash or we develop our 7k blocker. So it's kind of like one or the other. Now, I guess there is a decision here. Like, do we just nerf the Zoro? Okay, we're going for the nerf. We want, to, we want to make sure it gets off the board. Respectable. Because the next turn, he has to invest his Dawn 
So he probably won't be swinging too hard next turn. So yeah, with Yuta, it's just quickly ramp. One of the fastest ramping leaders. It's her and Hanabo, in my personal opinion. Just get to your Dawn state, and then you don't even have to worry about Dawn. Because that's what Purple is always like scared of. But a lot of times, like if you think back to OP01 with the Onigashima, and it was like you get you get to um you get to the Dawn state. Uh now it's like yo, I don't even need this card no more. This card's not even helping me. I'm getting I'm already at 10 Dawn. If I pop uh two Dawn, I'm getting it right back. If I pop three, I'll be at nine. I don't really need to play the stage no more. So it's kind of like that. Just quickly, um does he have two? Yeah, he has two down on Luffy. So you 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 better off blocking. He has two down on Luffy. Okay, he goes for us. Ooh, Shanks. And Vista. It's funny. So, like, we could legitly just take his board out. Obviously, he developed that Brook for, you know, more attacking. And he's starved right now. It's literally one card in hand. So, if we wanted to, we can just um, summon Vista, pop, and just, like, everything attack that Luffy. He has one card in hand. Okay, so, if... Okay, I was going to say, if he plays that Shanks... It's probably because he thinks he doesn't have to worry about any big body threats on the Zoro end. Because I think the only big body a Zoro player would play is Whitebeard. But like I said, with the one card in hand, he could essentially just play the Vista, pop the Brook, and then, yeah, everybody attack Luffy. You don't need to use that. You don't need to use it. Nope. Oh, he's using it. He didn't need to use it at all. The person got one card in hand. You know what it probably is? Okay, one, they're getting it back. And I want to say the other thing is probably, uh, yeah, they probably just want to do damage. Yeah, because literally, one, one, attack, attack, two, six Ks, it was gone no matter what. And then you just summon Brooke, pop. But yeah, I get it. At this point, oh, two kid killers. That's scary. But the sad truth is, if he swings and all this fails, oh, yeah, you, you could block for free. You have a 2K counter. Yeah, you can block and then use a 2K to keep your um, Douglas Bullet alive if they attempt to swing on Douglas Bullet. I think blocking is the smarter play. I think. Oh, everybody's 8,000. Ooh. Okay. They realize they're in some sorts of danger. They don't want us to counter out, which we choose to do anyway. <laughs> but then they don't want us uh, to counter out and uh, leave a character on the board. I mean, it, it equated to the same thing at the end of the day. Yeah, their board is in peak physical danger. Swing that. Okay, they can't save it. That's very telling. Two on Vista. They can't save it. That's very telling. So either that's just an event in their hand. Or. Yeah, put some down on Luffy. Oh, we're trying to play Douglas Bullet. Okay. I get it. Okay, that's it. It's GG. I'm so sorry, Zoro. It's a bullying right now. Oh, it's never over till it's over, huh? So, okay, so, so now the threat of Diablo John Bay is now off the table. We have one blocker and we have uh, one life. So there's nothing they can do, really. Choose to take, block the other one because we have to. They got one card in hand. Essentially, we can put four Dawn on the character, then use Douglas Bullet. Okay, it seems like we're just going to attack Plain Jane. Maybe that was just to get cards out the hand. So now you can put four Dawn on, uh, well, you don't, there's zero cards in hand. but I don't know, I'll, I'll try to give them, get the one out the hand. I mean, and put the one in their hand. Okay, so we attack with Yuta. Ah, it doesn't matter. I don't think any of this matters. Because we're still going to have five Dawn left over to try to go for game. 
Hey, I bet y'all didn't expect a Yuta deck to be the Zoro deck. Come on, please give us a sub for this one. We trying. We trying. Look at what we've been making. Do we, we got the game? We got the game. Uh, G. Uh, G.